so to all our students out here, you heard what, what Jonathan was saying. They call the faculty members, so you, know, you want to get good grades and show up to class on time and all those things, those soft skills that, that we do appreciate, right, Vince? <laughs> and can I ask for the students out here so they have a sense of it, could you give me like an average salary that someone might make at, at your paper plant? Um, our average salary is just over 50000 for as a, as a company. Uh -huh. Well, it's pretty good, right? <laughs> Do you have any places in Maryland? <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. I'm sure he could be convinced with the right. <laughs> no, uh, you, you made reference to a term, that, and, and you had referenced it indirectly, Vince, that I, I think is important to underscore when you talked about soft skills. Uh, I, usually, I refer to them as essential skills. And if, if, when I talk to employers about uh, what are you looking for, in your person. Uh, more often than not, they tell me they don't necessarily need someone who today knows how to produce their widget. But they have the aptitude, and then they have access to programs here that provide you those uh, hard skills. But the equally essential skills are the skills of being a good team player. If it's an eight to five shift, you're there a quarter to eight. Uh, respecting your colleagues, being a, a good team player, that's why uh, you know, folks uh, like you who've had that experience in the military, when, when things get to DEF CON 1, you know, you've been to that movie. And so when the lights go out, uh, you have that experience that enables you not to panic and to perform well under pressure. And so it's really important as we talk about this remarkable program not to overlook uh, the other set of essential skills, and I, I actually don't use the word soft anymore because I, I sometimes wor worry that it implies that they're less essential than, than the other skills, and, uh, and I know that you do a great job of that here as well, but as you're thinking about what's it going to take for me uh, to get uh, that $50,000 job with Vince, it's not only the technical capacity that you're learning here, but it's those equally important skills. Like Life writing. Skills. Right. Like writing. Exactly. <laughs> yes, writing, teachers writing is critical. Um, and and I'm. Can we use that term? Are we allowed to, to steal that from skills. you? Oh, I absolutely. Like I like it. And we do. We we actually have programming to to make sure that y'all are set with everything that you need there too. And you're, by the way, you're not only going to be uh, certified in the way you are, but equally importantly, when you get Biden certified by Dr. Biden, <laughs> as you have today, that's a pretty important uh, credential. Uh, because she knows community colleges better than anyone in uh, this administration. Great. Well, um, we've mentioned our partners. Um, I'm going to ask them, and as well as our project staff, you can see we have a lot of work to do in four years, but really three years is, the, is our time limit to get things going, so it's going to take a, a village uh, to get this done. So if um, all our, our college partners and all of the project staff could just stand for just a second and be recognized by these folks. I'd appreciate it. All right. So as we wrap up here today, I did want to say you know, Secretary Perez mentioned in his opening comments that he was learning what mission critical was. Um, and our goal would be then that everybody in three years, we'll know what mission critical is. Um, we won't have to explain it. Um, and that we will be able to show uh, that we've gotten folks jobs, because uh, that is our primary goal. So I want to thank Dr. Biden and Secretary Perez for coming. Um, Vince, Kenneth, and of course, Jonathan and Mitch, we really appreciate it. And thank you all so much um, for being such a great audience, being attentive, and, and allowing us to celebrate with you today. Thank you. Thank you.